What's up, X3 Club? It's your future MCM. It's the eater of garlic bread, the respect of women, the gender mahal of YouTube. X3. And it is my 50th video here. I mean, if you stuck with me this long, just been watching for this long, I love you. I love you. I mean, seriously though, thank you guys for the support lately. It's been unreal. I mean, I, just a few months ago, I only had 22 subscribers in a few videos. Here I am, 50 right now, and 235 subscribers, and we just keep growing. And, and it really means a lot that people actually enjoy my videos and look forward to my videos. And, you know, it doesn't seem like a big number, but to me, it's, it's kind of a big deal. So, just thank you for that. Alright, but all that little mushy stuff out the way. For this 50th upload, I brought out a new hat, you know. Oh, oh, boy, that hole is clean. Boy, are you stuck? Anyways, I decided to do a Q and A. I asked you guys on Twitter to ask me some questions, and you guys asked me some good ass questions. So what I'm gonna do is answer said questions for your entertainment. All right. So first question comes from Mr. Mary Jane, and he asked, favorite Red Wing fan of all time and favorite show member. Now. Red Wings fans go, I have a few, uh, I don't, I don't want to name everyone because then people get left out and feelings will get hurt, but at this point on Twitter, if I still follow you from like hockey Twitter and shit, you're a Red Wings fan, you're one of my favorites, basically. And favorite Shield member, uh, I gotta go with Seth Rollins, um, I mean I like Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose is just, but Seth Rollins, uh. So next question comes from Basic Boy Wonder. He asks, "Worst wrestling match this decade from any promotion?" That that is a. I I don't know. I I don't I don't know. I don't watch much of any other wrestling other than like WWE, and I try to watch a few PWG shows in there. And you can't even put New Japan Pro Wrestling on there because you know they just put bangers at the bangers. So, uh. That that's a tough question. I I really I, I I'm sorry. I don't know. I can't I can't I can't just think of the worst wrestling match I've seen this decade. That's I mean obviously I mean I didn't watch it, but I know a lot of people did not like. I mean I, I understand, but Jeff Hardy and Sting at what I forgot what pay per view it was. He he showed up high. That's the only one that comes to mind because I, I really I really don't know. I, I, my bad, I don't know. All right, next question comes from Alex the Brinkets, not not the real one, but he says, "Is a hot dog a sandwich?" Now look, personally, I believe so. Here's why. Here's why. It's not directly a sandwich. It's more like the third cousin to the sandwich. You you know, like, I'm not about to go into a whole just detail about it. Just look. I believe it is. If it wants to be a sandwich, let it be a sandwich. It's 2017. Just let it be a sandwich. So next one comes from Good Brother Joe. You've seen him on the channel multiple times. He asks, top five favorite mid-carders of all time. <sighs> that That's tough, but I'm going to go. And then my personal, personally, my personal favorite, not like statistically favorite and great, but you know. My personal favorite. I gotta go, no order here. Tyler Breeze, Jimmy Wang Yang. Uh, I'd, I'd say, I'd say, uh, huh. I mean, I don't really, can. Ty Dillinger, cause I'm going now because I can't think that far behind. So I'm just gonna go now. Except for Jimmy Wang Yang, uh, he he's not moving on this list because of that. But um, also Ty Dillinger, uh, Mojo Raleigh, because he's a mid Carter, um, obviously uh, a high bro. If, if if anything, he's a he's a great high bro, my favorite high bro. And I I, I got to go with Dolph Ziggler. Well, of old, not new Ziggler. Uh, that's kind of a weird list. Uh, I I don't know. Yeah, that that's my list. Some good ass mid carters right there, if you ask me. So the next question comes from Carl Haglin sixty two. He says, "Are pop tarts ravioli?"
What? Anyway, next question comes from Five for Tween. He says, what made you get into being a YouTuber? Um, it's, I've always loved making people smile and laugh and this was like the best way I can do it. I mean, being myself, this is how I am off camera and stupid hats. It's, it's me, it's, it's who I am and I like making friends laugh. I like making everybody else laugh and, and entertain and you know, so this was the best way I could do that. And I've I just always wanted to make videos. Like, I've been wanting to make videos since I was in fifth grade. And there are videos out there of me in fifth grade. I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna tell you where you can find those videos, but trust me, they exist. And, and I've been doing YouTube just ever, for, forever, basically. But this channel really stuck, and I'm actually really, you know, consistent with this channel. And I make videos on this channel, and I, I'm growing, so... With this channel, it, it means a lot that people actually find me entertaining and enjoy my videos because that's all I really want to do is just put some smile on people's faces and entertain them the best I can, which is yell at shit, you know, talk about wrestling because I'm passionate about that, and, and just weird videos like this. And so that's really what made me go on YouTube is seeing that I make people days less stressful, you know, people are like, oh, you know, whenever I'm sad, I kind of watch videos. I'm like, you know, that, that means a lot. So... That's really why I got to YouTube. It's just to make people smile and laugh. It's just, just to entertain people. Next question comes from Connor K. Koivu. He says, should Balor be Universal Champion? <laughs> and lastly, this question comes from at Church of the Lad. My man's Ken. He says, what's your opinion on people who munch nipples? Now, I got, I got two answers for this. Okay, I got, I, got two, I got two answers for this. One, the people who munch nipples. I applaud you. Keep, keep, keep munching nipples. Two, the people who cause themselves nipple muncher. <laughs> Eat a fucking dick. <laughs> Woo! Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below your thoughts on this video. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please don't hesitate to let me know. Follow me on Twitter at X3. That's four E's at the end of X3, just like my channel name. You will not regret following me on Twitter because I tweet a lot of good stuff that people let flop because they don't like me. So you should follow me on Twitter if you enjoy my videos. And you can get updates when I'm coming out with new videos. And give me suggestions on what videos you want to see in the future. Share my videos with your friends, share with your family, help me grow, help the X3, X3 Club grow. It'll mean a lot. The support lately has meant a lot to me. And I just want to, I just want to get big. I just want to grow. I just, just want to expand and do better things on this channel. And better things are coming. Trust me. Trust me. With that being said, I'm X3 for the X3 Club. Telling you guys, take all the bread and respect women.